In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I play an online game of Madden 21. What are some things that you can learn from me? What are some things that I do well? But also, what are some things that I don't do well? We're going to be breaking that down for you today in this Madden Ultimate Team gameplay. I've got Randall Cunningham at quarterback. I've got some really good stuff to talk about on the defensive side of the ball as well. But before we dive too deep into this, if you don't know what my name is, my name is Cody, and my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Um, that way you can get all of the free tips and all of the free content that I provide uh, on YouTube. Now, the first tip that I have for you is to always pause, especially if you're on defense, always, always, always pause um, right before it hits one second on those adjustments uh, and just take a quick peek at what everyone has. What is he? Does he have gunslingers? Does he have high round masters? You can see here he has route technician on two receivers. He has a uh, gunslinger and then he has edge protectors as well, but he doesn't have, uh, I believe he does have Hot Route Master as well. So it uh, looks like he's got a couple acrobats, and you think he has three one step ahead uh, corners. So the reason that this is important, as you see here, it puts 15 seconds back on the clock. Um, this is huge. It allows you more time at the pre-play menu to be able to make your adjustments, to be able to set up your defense, uh, and just to be able to be uh, as effective as possible. So I am running a cover four based defensive scheme right now uh, out of the nickel uh, well it's actually technically out of the 46 playbook but it's out of the nickel 335 the nickel 335 wide um and the nickel um uh gosh dang it the, the nickel normal formation so i'm actually really excited we're going to be playing somebody that's running some trips tied in today so really excited to see how this defense does against this offense obviously this is one of the best offenses um in the madden community this year and if you want to get my full ebook on trips tied in, um, that link is in the description under my New England Patriots offensive guide. But anywho, without further ado, we're going to dive right in here. So uh, first things first, one of the rules of thumb is you want to always shift your defense um, to the side of of, of the strength, right? So the strength meaning um, I always want to shift where towards the running back out of the shotgun. So if he's in shotgun, I always want to be shifting to the running back every single time um, so that I can be prepared to be able to take care of any uh, running plays that he might go to um, in a critical situation, maybe out of no huddle or something like that. So we're almost always um, going to uh, shift our defensive line you know, to that side now, right here, I also want to tell you guys I have a couple of different abilities. I don't think a lot of people are running these abilities right now, and I'm actually really excited about them. Let's see if he gets this post route open. He does. Uh, Vincent almost came down on it. But essentially what we're going to do is we have um, mid-zone KO on a lot of our players. Pretty much all of our linebackers have mid-zone KO on them right now. Um, and the reason that we have that ability and you see there, there we go, we're able to stop that inside zone. Um, that's why we shift them to the to the running back side. The reason we have um, these abilities, we have deep out zone KO, we have deep in zone KO, um, we have all kinds of different stuff. But the reason we have them uh, on our players is because we're trying to do a better job at just kind of hanging uh, a little bit on what he's going to do. Is he going to throw corner routes? Is he going to, you know, whatever. But these zones will break a lot better with these zone abilities on them. So right here, good routes, good routes, good routes. We're going to come back in here. He's going to playmaker around round and that should be a pick yep Richard Sherman um, and I have all of the corners that I have they're all um, zone archetypes so there we go good defense from the jump and we're able to get the stop and now offensively we need to go down and get seven points we need to waste no time anytime you're playing somebody that's running uh, trips tight in or gun bunch you always have to play a very serious game and especially if they're coming out in the meta uh, style stuff on offense and defense you know they at least have some knowledge of the game and have some awareness of what they're doing now the one thing that he did do that was interesting was he actually ran his trips tight in um, I believe he ran his trip set to the weak side or to the short side of the field and he ran a single solo tight end to the wide side so that's haven't seen that a whole lot um, and it looks like he's coming out I think he's in nickel normal so that's an interesting defense he might be in, in, in some some match coverage or something like that 
but we're going to start out with this playmaker dot right here to Terry McLaurin. Now I'm running the bunch tight end on offense. Yeah. I've got Randall Cunningham with Hot Route Master and Gunslinger. I've got Randy Moss with Deep Out Elite, and I've got McLaurin with um, with Playmaker right here. Uh, this playmaker is so hard to stop. Um, I just don't think I don't think people can use it fully. Um, you can try to use it, but I really don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. And you're going to see I'm going to go to this playmaker a lot. We're going to go to a double crossing route setup right here out of the bunch tight end. Um, he is showing some pressure here, so we'll see what he does with his his uh, his defense. He does have one step ahead, but Tyree Kill is able to get outside of that with that 90 deep route running threshold that he hits, and we're able to get on the board early. The motion crossing route does a really really good job against the one step ahead meta because it is a double. Um, it, it has two route uh, breaks or cuts, so the one step will work on the first cut, but on the second cut, normally he'll get separation as long as he has that route running um, threshold that we were looking for, which he does. So really, really good job right there by Tyreek getting open, and you can't start a game any better. Defense gets a turnover, offense turns it into a quick seven, and so now the game starts to change because the thing about Madden is there's only so many minutes, right? There's only 16 minutes a game, um, four-minute quarter. So there's about 12 minutes left in this game, about 13 and a half, I guess, to be exact. But that means that, you know, again, you know, he's got to, you know, this is this is a key situation. So anyway, all that to say, um, he's going to go to some bunch tight end himself. And if he runs a ton, let's we'll see what he does out of this. But we're going to see how that defends the crossing route. And he got over the top of that crossing route really, really well. The one issue I do have a little bit with this cover four defense is stuff like that randomly where um, it's just like sometimes you'll just randomly get get shamed. I don't know exactly why, but we're gonna go um, we're gonna go to this setup here. And a uh, good call by him to go to that right there to, to get inside of us uh, or to get get the inside zone right there. So uh, second and six ball on 13 yard line. He's going to come out and bunch tight in again. Um, and we need to audible. And our defense did not get set up at all. But there's that. There's the. There's Richard Sherman making another play. That's the mid zone KO ability that he has on him. But what we need to do is we're going to basically turn this into a cover two on the bunch tight end side uh, on the on the weak side here. And then we're going to, yep, there's the flip of the bunch. Um, all right, we did not get our play set up. We did not get our play set up. We did not get our play set up. Somehow he completed that. I think that's crazy. There was four people right there. Um, we just didn't get our play set <coughs> set up at the end of the day uh, one of the other things we're going to start doing we're going to take auto flip off and the reason why is because um, for situations like what just happened it doesn't make sense to have auto flip on so right here he's going to we know he's going to flip it go to the fullback dive and we're going to blow it up but he is going to inch in for a touchdown that's a good drive you got to give credit where credit is due i mean he made some good plays what we've got to do is instead of having auto flip on we are going to manually flip the, the defense. And the reason why we're going to do that is so that when he comes out, because a lot of people that run like Gun Bunch or Bunch Tight End or stuff like that, they'll just flip. They'll just flip, 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 flip. And if, essentially, they'll come out in short side bunch, and then they'll flip the wide side bunch, and they can quick snap you. So we're going to try to keep that you know, not, uh, not allowed. So. so offense is going to get the ball back. Now, we do get ball at halftime, so... As long as we can go down and kind of do our job on the offensive side of the ball, you know, at least get some points here, um, that's going to be huge. We're going to almost always like to take a knee. Um, you know, I, I just I, – I've, I've fumbled too many times. Like, you know, I just I've, – I've only gotten maybe one kick return in this entire game, so um, it's just not the move to me. Oh, I had him too. I had – oh, he broke it. Um he broke it. We're going to get the ball out to Vernon. Randall Cunningham just made a huge play for the offense. He just broke that sack. Man, good play by Randall. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to go with a little... And good read by Randall again. Hitting the curl flat, <coughs> curl flat corner. 
Curl flat corner, in my opinion, is the best play in the game if you run it right. If you don't run it right, obviously it's not going to be that good. But if you run it right, it is really, really, really tough to stop. Now, he, I believe he is running some nickel 335 wide. So, obviously, he has a little bit of a concept of what's going to happen here. Um, no hard flats there. So, we're going to take our quick read to Barry and just get a couple quick yards there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, going to come right back into curl flat corner. Going to try to get a quick snap off here. Uh, and just try to hit him quick. And Moss. And Randall gets taken down that time. Wasn't able to break free of that. And I didn't have any check down. That was on me. And I think he's running a lot of coverage. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see if he does blitz. Here he does blitz on me. And Randall's going to throw a dime to Randy Moss in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Exclamation point, bunch tight end, man. The bunch tight end offense is insane. If you haven't picked it up yet, it is in the description. So offense does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now it's on to the defense. Now while I'm uh, going to be kicking off here, I want to talk a little bit about my text message membership. For those of you that are still watching this video, if you haven't heard of my text membership, essentially what that is is it is a free membership that I provide in my community. So it's completely free. doesn't cost you a dime. All you have to do to sign up for it is text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description if you need to go down to the description and check that out. But just text me and let me know you'd like to receive those videos. They're completely free to you. Every week we provide you with um, new offenses, new defenses, new stuff for you to be able to try. Um, so if you want to get that, uh, that is in the, in the uh, description here. So, anyway, bunch tight in again, and this time, we'll see how this does. And Brian Dawkins, I need you to make a play on that ball right there. So, wide side of the field is where we want our slot corner. So, you see here, I can flip and flip and flip and flip. So, um, that's what we want to do. And there we go. There's the D. And our job is the middle. And good job. Good job by our defense right there. Now, if you notice, you see that we've got uh, Vincent. Vincent, we want Vincent always on the short side because we're generally going to put Vincent either. He, he might stay in his in his zone. He might also go into a, um, a Tampa 2 style. And we might have busted a coverage here. Uh, I think we're going to get a little lucky. Okay, so now it's flipped, right? So now what we need to do is we need to flip the way we're running our defense. So we're going to put Vincent on this side, and we're going to put Hall here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to go down to this, create our, our uh, coverage defense here. And voila. And we're going to let him scramble. That's okay. We probably should have contained... And that's going to bring up a fourth and two. So in these types of situations, what I like to do is I like to kind of try to play a little chess <coughs> with my zone drops uh, and kind of bring them down a little bit. Now the wide side of the field is now on the left side, so we're going to move these guys again. Crap. There we go. We got some hard flats out there. We got some 15 yard, and he did a really good job. He he came out and literally just quick snapped me, and I was just not ready for it. And he's gonna do it again, and this time we're gonna take it from him. And that's good, in my opinion. That's really good defense. I was very irritated that he tried to do that to me one more time. We're gonna swag on him. We didn't get off of our user, and we got a pick six. Exclamation point three three five man. The three three five white defense is the best defense in the entire game because you can set your defense up super, super fast because the audibling is so quick. You get the best personnel on the field possible. You're able to play match coverage, zone coverage, man coverage, blitz all through it, be able to play great run defense, and all be able to do all of those things with the best personnel possible without the potential of you getting weak boxed. That's what makes nickel 335 wide the best defense right now in the community. So if you want to get that defense, it's in the description. But you saw, um, I mean, just, you know, 
again, quick snap, quick snap, quick snap. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Defense is able to adjust. So now, and this is where I talk about, you know, the chess match. Um, he hasn't thrown a crossing route yet, so we're going to move these down a little bit. And again, you just want to kind of tinker them. I, I really believe in that. I, I think tinkering these things um, is huge. So, anyways, we're going to set that up right here. We got Mabel coverage on the bunch side. Um, you know, just kind of staying simple here. And there we go. Let's go get him. Big sack. That's going to bring him up. Let's see if he goes no huddle here. And he's not going to go no huddle. So uh, really quickly, we always want to make sure that that's set up just like that. Now, the other thing that we need to be aware of is when we audibly see that right there. So that tells me who's going to be blitzing. So I know that when I audible, then I need to do that right there. And he quick snapped me again. And we're going to try to get back on there. And we got nice pressure. And that's the deep the deep zone uh, knockout abilities, being able to break down on, on, on those in-breaking patterns. Um, right here, we're going to run straight nickel 335. And the reason why um, is just because of the situation. And, of course, we got clicked off our user. Um, and there you saw right there, that if you look, at, I think that was... Tr uh, that was number 23, Troy Vincent, on that play. He's going to go ahead and quit out here, I believe. But that's that's why the abilities are so powerful. That deep out zone KO breaks down on the out routes, takes it away. Great defense. If you want to get the defense, it's in the description. If you want to get the offense, it's in the description. If you want to text me, my number's in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on tonight's stream.